My name is Alan Hart and today we're going to look at open firm and open firm control and multi-zones. So I'm at EPH today in Ireland and we've got, um, they've got a system where you can have open firm but on multiple zones. So you can have up to six zones actually on open firm. So what we're going to do, we'll have a look at that now. So how this works with the multiple open firm, if you've got zone valves on your heating system, like this, if we have a look in here, you'll have a main, main hub there. And on this, this is this one. And then you'll have the other receivers that will connect to that main hub. And then you can use these on open firm. And you can have up to six different zones on this. We can also, if you've got an open, if you've got a um, system boiler, we can also do the hot water on that. So that means that we can make an S plan system and we can turn it into an open, uh, into an open firm system. So how these would work, this is the main hub here. And these hubs, these two, will connect to this wirelessly. When we look on here, look inside these. So this one's got a live and a neutral in there. And this one's got a live and a neutral. And then they're connecting to the middle one wirelessly. And then when we look on this one, this has got the open firm wired in. We need to be careful that we never put high voltage to the open firm connection. And then this connects directly to the boiler. So if we see this wire here, this wire here goes into the boiler and you'd have to check with different boiler manufacturers to make sure you're doing it correctly. And if we have a look in the boiler, this is connected into the boiler. The power's turned off to this, so it's safe. And it's connected in on the open firm, which is low voltage. And we're not gonna send 240 volts down and blow these, blow these up. Also with this, we'll be able to use the Ember app with this if you want to. So if your customer wants like internet style controls in an app, you'll be able to do that um, with this as well. And um, what we'll do now, we'll have a look and I'll show you how this works. So how this would work, if one zone is calling for heat, then say for instance it just needs one degree, you know, you only want it to go up one degree, then that will modulate the boiler down, so you'll have a lower flow temperature from the boiler. If then you open another zone, and say that needs a higher temperature, it will then ramp the boiler up, so it'll give more heat into the system, and then obviously, if you open all the zones, then the boiler will go higher. And then once once the zone gets up to temperature, the boiler will know, uh, the, the stats will know that they've got up to temperature and the boiler then can modulate back down again. To access the open firm installer menu or information, if you go into programmer and okay, and if you hold them, hold them for five seconds, and then if you scroll up on this to number seven and press OK and we'll press plus. And this is in the instructions, but TFLO is the floor temperature. So this is the floor on the boiler. Plus again, TREH, that's the return temperature. And then there's, there's other settings in here as well, but you can also see the boiler modulation in this as well, which is this one. But as I said, this is all in the manufacturer's instructions. So it shows you how to do this. And this just shows you the modulation at the moment. And to come out of this, you just press auto and then auto again. And then you just back to the main menu. So that's just a, a little insight on multiple heating zones and how you can control them 
on Open Firm. If you want any more information on that, then uh, please add some comments below. Um, yeah, I hope you hope you found that of some use. And thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, click up here somewhere and subscribe. Thank you.